In this video we're going to look at standard form. Standard form is a way of writing very, very large numbers in a short way, or very, very small numbers in a short way. So, Notice if I start off with 3,000, I could write that in a different way. Rather than writing 3,000, I could write 3 times 1,000. Alternatively, I could write that's equal to 3 times 10 cubed, because 10 cubed is 1,000. So this is the ordinary number, 3,000, and this is in standard form. Okay, So if you've got a number in standard form, it has a number at the front between 1 and 10, and it's going to be less than 10, um, and then um, times 10 to a power of a certain number, where well, this number is going to be an integer, so it's either going to be a positive number or a negative number. Um, you tend not to use it whenever it's 0. Um, so this then would be the number in standard form, Okay, where this has got to be between... 1 and 10, okay? Um, but it obviously can't be 10. So, write 8,200 in standard form. So remember, we've got to have a number between 1 and 10. Because we've got an 8 and a 2 at the front, we're going to use 8.2. Uh, and then we want to make it 8,200. So to, multi uh, to get from 8.2 to 8,200, we'd have to times it by 1,000. So we'd, we'd times it by 10 cubed, because 10 cubed is 1,000. So this has to be always a power of 10. Notice that if our decimal place had started here, we've moved it one, two, three places to get to the end of the number. Okay, So you would use 8.2 times 10 cubed, and notice the connection between the three and how many times you'd move the decimal point to get the number you started with. This time we've been asked to write 2 million in standard form. So remember, we need a number between 1 and 10 at the front, so we're going to use 2 to begin with. We're going to times that by 10 to the power of, but you want to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros on there, so you're going to times it by 10 to the power of 6. Remember, if you times something uh, in a whole number by 10 squared, you'd be adding two numbers on the end, or two zeros on the end. So here you're multiplying 2 by 10 to the power of 6, and you'd add 6 zeros to the end. Okay? Another question. Let's write. This number in standard form. So again, you need a number between one and ten at the front. So we've got so we're going to go for seven point five, and you want to move the decimal place one, two, three, four, five times. So it's going to be times ten to the power of five. Okay, before we look at how to write small numbers in standard form, it's very important you know what ten to the power of minus one, ten to the power of minus two, ten to the power of minus three, etc. Um, represent. So ten to the power of one would mean one over ten. 1 over 10 is 1 tenth, 0 0.1. If you multiply a number by 0 0.1, it's the same effect as dividing it by 10. So have a look and try that on your calculator. Multiply a number by 0 0.1 and see what happens to the answer. 10 to the power of minus 2 gives you the answer 0 0.01. That's 1 hundredth. Whenever you multiply a number by 1 hundredth, it's the same as dividing it by 100. So in other words, you'd be moving the decimal place twice to the left, you'd be making it smaller. Okay, uh, dividing a number by ten to the, or times a number by ten to the power of minus three would be the same as dividing it by a thousand, and so on. Okay, so let's write some small decimal or let's write some decimal numbers in standard form. So we've got zero point zero four five, and we've been asked to write it in standard form. So you always need to start off with a number between one and ten. So we're going to be use four point five. Now, if the decimal point was here in between the four and the five, we would need to move it once twice to the left to get the number we're going to start with. So we're going to times it by 10 to the power of minus 2 because we want to divide this number, 4.5, by 100 to get 0 0.045. You want to move the decimal place twice to the left, 1, 2. Okay. Um, let's do this one, 0 0.00008 in standard form. So again, you're going to have to start with number between 1 and 10, so this time it's going to be 8 times, now the decimal point would be here at the end of the number 8, there, so here, and we want to move it once, twice, three, four, five times to the left, so we're going to times it by 10 to the minus 5. Okay, let's have a look at now some typical exam questions. Okay, this question says, write 64,000 in standard form. So you need to start with a number between 1 and 10, so we're going to use 6.4 times. If the decimal point was here, we'd need to move it once, two, three, four times, to be 10 to the power of 4. Okay, so you would times 6.4 by uh, 10,000 to get 64,000. We're going to move it once, two, three, four times. Let's have a look at number one. This one says, write 0.00123 in standard form. So again, you're going to have to start with a number between 1 and 10. So we're going to use 1.23 
times 10. And if the decimal point was here, we'd have to move it 1, 2, 3 times to the left. So it's going to be to the power of minus 3. Okay, this time we've been asked to write 52 times 10 to the 4 in standard form. Now you would look at this and think, oh, it looks like it's in standard form already because it's got a number times 10 to a certain power. But look at this 52. It's not between 1 and 10. So you have to write this as a number between 1 and 10. So instead of using 52, we're going to use 5.2 times. Now we've made this number 10 times smaller. Now obviously you need it to be the same value of these two. So if you make one number 10 times smaller, to ensure that it's the same, you need to make the other number 10 times bigger. So you need to multiply this number by another 10. So remember 10 to the 4 would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we need to times by another 10, so it would be 10 to the power of 5. So if, you want, if you've got a number that looks like it could be in standard form, but one of them is too big, you might need to make it 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller, but then you would need to make the other number either 10 times bigger, 100 times bigger, and so on. Let's have a look at another question like that. Okay, we've been asked to write 156 times 10 to the minus 7 in standard form. So again, this number here is in between 1 and 10. So the number we're going to use would have to be 1.56, okay, because it's between 1 and 10. And we've made it this time 100 times smaller. So that means we need to make the other number 100 times bigger. So that means we're going to increase the power by 2. So we're going to go minus 6, minus 5. Remember, increasing a negative means going back up towards 0. So it would be times 10 to the minus 5. This time we've been asked to write 0.2 times 10 to the 8 in standard form. Now this 0.2 is in between 1 and 10. So we need to make this number 10 times bigger. So we're going to call it 2. And we then need to make this one 10 times smaller. So that's going to be times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, And then that would be in standard form. Okay, so we've talked a lot about how to write ordinary numbers in standard form. Now we're going to look at how to go from standard form to ordinary numbers. Okay, So whenever you've got it in standard form, it's a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the power of a certain number. And an ordinary number is obviously the number out in full. So sometimes you're asked in a question to go from here to here. So let's have a look and see how to do that. Right, 8.2 times 10 to the 5 is an ordinary number. Now 10 to the 5 is 100,000. It's quite a large number and we're going to times 8.2 by that. So we're going to get quite a large number whenever we do this. Whenever you're multiplying by uh, 10 to the positive power, the number is going to get bigger. Whenever you times it by 10 to the negative power, it's going to be a dec or it's going to be a small number. It's going to be a decimal number. Okay. So we're, uh, we're doing 8.2 times 10 to the 5. So that means that we're going to move the decimal point 5 times to the right. So 8.2 and I, what I do is I just put a few zeros down, okay, like so. I don't know how, I just put a few couple down. And then if the decimal point was there, okay, and we need to move it five times, we'd move it once, twice, three, four times. I need to move it one more time, so I put another zero. Let's check it. One, two, three, four, five. So 8.2 times 10 to the 5 would be 820,000. Okay, if you need to do 4 times 10 to the 4, and write that as an ordinary number, um, you would uh, move the decimal place 4 places to the right. Um, but obviously there's no decimal point here, so you can just put on 4 zeros. So it's going to be 4, and then 4 zeros. So 4 times 10 to the 4 would be 40,000. This time we've been asked to write 7.25 times 10 to the 6 as an ordinary number. So again, start off with the 725, and we've been asked to move the decimal place 6 places to the right. So we'd move it 1. 2 to get to here, so 1, 2, and we then need to move it 4 more times, so add on 4 zeros. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 7.25 times 10 to the 6 would be 7,255,000. Now we've been asked to write 8.2 times 10 to the minus 2 as an ordinary number. Remember, 10 to the minus 2 is the same as 100, if 0.01. And when we times by that, it's the same as dividing by 100. It has the same effect as it. So this is going to get smaller. It's going to be a decimal number. Whenever this is negative, it's going to be a decimal. So that means we're going to move the decimal place two places to the left this time. Okay, so if we moved it once to the left, it'd be 0.82. And then if we put another zero, so let's have a look, once twice to the left would move it there so it would go once twice and it would be 0.082 okay so what you do is you just start off with it in between the end so you just move it two places to the left one two sometimes just putting a couple of zeros down and then it would help you count where it would go to okay this time we've been asked to write five times ten to the minus four is an ordinary number so we hit five well, the decimal point would be here, 5.0. We need to move four places to the left. I sometimes just put a couple of zeros in front of it, like so, and let's figure out where it would go to. So if I had five, the decimal point would be here, and move four places to the left, so 
we go. One, two, three, four. And then put the decimal at zero there. So let's have it one, two, three, four. So five times 10 to the four would be the same as 0 0.0005. Okay, and finally, uh, we've been asked to write 6.43 times 10 as an ordinary number. Or sorry, times 10 as an ordinary number. So we're going to write 6.43. Uh, so we're going to write 643. We need to move the decimal place because it's a positive power. We're going to make again quite a large number. So we're going to move the decimal point to the right. And we're going to move it five times to the right. So one, two, one, two, because obviously it started here, 4.43. Uh, so one, two, we need to move it three more times. So one, two, three, let's check it. One, two, three, four, five, fantastic. 